Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how to compute a randomization distribution and calculate a p-value using StatKey. This is similar to problems 4.117 through 4.122 in the text. So first thing we do is we go to lock5stat.com slash StatKey. And we're, again, all these problems have to do with proportion, so we're going to hit test for single proportion. Now this is the information from the problem, I just retyped it here. The null hypothesis says that p is equal to 0.05. That's listed here. The alternate says that p is greater than 0.5. That's a right-tailed test. Our sample data has p hat being 0.6 with n equaling 50. So we're going to edit the data. And again, n is equal to 50. And since our null hypothesis says it should be 0.5, um, we compute 0.5 times 50, and that'll be 25. Again, this makes our null, this satisfies our null hypothesis of p equal 0.5, and that's what we're talking about when we're computing randomization distributions. We're talking about the distribution of the null hypothesis. So here all of it is. I'm going to generate 1,000 samples. It's not going to be whole very different if I generated 100. And this is going to be a right-tailed test, again, because p is greater than 0.5, according to the alternate hypothesis. And now, um, it found this tail, but we want to know what happens at 0.6. We don't know. Remember, a p-value is the probability of your observation, or an equally or more extreme observation, assuming the null hypothesis. So here is the observation at 0.6. We want to know what the probability of this is and everything more extreme to that. So I'm going to click 0.64 and enter in 0.6 here. Hit OK. And it gives me my p value here of 0.114. All right. um, if you run this experiment yourself, you're going to get a number somewhere around 0.1. In this case, this seems a little high, but that's what you get. OK. Um, well, try it for yourself. Run through this exercise, and, and uh, I'm curious to see your responses. All right. Take care.